Hi friends, this is Dave of JavaCodeJunkie.com and welcome to another Java Swing video tutorial. In this episode, we're going to look at the JLabel class. A JLabel is a display area for a short text string or an image or both. So let's create and configure a JLabel. I've already created a new Java Swing project that creates an instance of our mainframe class and then runs that class on the event dispatch thread. The mainframe class creates a new JFrame, sets the title in this case to JLabel demo, sets the default close operation to dispose on close so that the window or frame is disposed when the X icon is clicked in the top right hand corner of the window. We set the size to 800 by 500 pixels and then set the location relative to null to center the window or JFrame on the screen. Before we create our new J label, I'm going to create a J panel and add that to the north area. Let's create a private instance variable for the J panel. We'll organize our imports with Control Shift O to import the J panel class. And let's create the new panel in our initialize method. I'm going to set an empty border of 10 pixels all the way around our J panel. And let's add that to the north section of our border layout. Now that we've provided a home for our label, let's create a new label and add it to the panel. Once again, we'll create a private instance variable for our label, private J label. Label. And now let's create the label. Label equals new J label. As I already mentioned, a label can contain text and or a graphic or both. The default constructor creates a J label with no text and no graphic. So let's first look at that. We're going to now add the label to the panel. To make it more apparent that we have a panel, let's change the background color of the panel. Panel uh, set background color dot gray. And now if we run the program, we'll see the J panel with a gray background in the north section of our border layout. The label has been added, but since we've not added any text or a uh, graphic, there's nothing actually to see. So let's change the way that we create the J label and actually add some text. And let's run it one more time. And now you'll see that we have some text. The black does not look great on a gray background. So let's change the color of the text. Label dot set foreground color dot white we'll run we'll see now that the, you can actually see the text better than when it was a black on a gray background we can also change the font for the label label dot set font new font Sans serif. Font dot bold. And 36 pixels. Let's run. Now we should see 
the text is larger. In addition to adding text to a label, we can also add a graphic icon. I have a graphic logo.png that I've created and added to our project. So I'm going to load that and add it to our J button. Image icon, label icon equals new image icon and we'll specify the name of the file logo.png organize our imports with control shift o and now we'll set the icon on the label so label dot set icon label icon run the program and see how that looks so now we have the icon which is the graphic and we also have the text. We can also set the amount of space between the graphic and the icon. Currently we see that the icon is kind of butted right up against the text, so we'll give it a little space to make it look nicer. Label dot set icon text gap and I'll use 10 pixels as the space between. Run one more time now we have a little more space between the graphic and the text. We can also change the position of the text relative to the icon. We can make the icon appear to be on top, the bottom, the left, or the right. And we do that by changing the horizontal and vertical text position for the label. Label dot set horizontal text position. And we're going to use some constants from the swing constants class. Swing constants. For the horizontal text position, the value can be either of left, center, right, leading, or trailing. And for the vertical, it can be top, center, or bottom. So for illustration, for the horizontal text position, I'm going to use the swing constants dot center. And for the vertical, I'm going to use the swing constants dot bottom. Run. And now you see that the text is centered below the icon. I'll leave it to you as an exercise to uh, play with these horizontal and vertical text positions to move the icon so that it's at the bottom or on the right just by simply using different, and you do that simply by using different variations of the swing constants. One other thing that I wanted to show you is the ability of the label to display multiple lines of text. And to do that, I'm going to create a button so we'll create a private instance variable for the button. Private J button. And now we will create that button. Button equals new J button. And for the text on the button, I'm going to say update label Next, I'm going to add an action listener to the button so that when it is clicked, we can change the text on the button to multi-line text. Button dot add action listener, new action listener. Organize our imports, add the unimplemented method. And here I will set the multi-line text for our label. Label dot set text. Now to do multi-line text for a label, we use HTML for the text itself. So I'm going to use an HTML tag, HTML. And in between those HTML tags, I'm going to say, my cool app 
and I'm going to use another HTML tag called break, which is similar to the new line in Java in that it will wrap the text to start on a new line. And I'll say, buy it now. And of course, we have to add the quotation marks around all of that text. And now we'll add the button to the south area of the border layout. Frame.add button border layout dot south. Run. And now we have a button update label text that when clicked should update the text in our label to a two line text. So now we have two lines of text in the label still centered below the graphic. I'm just going to comment two lines that uh, set the horizontal and vertical text position so that it goes back to the default to the right of the graphic and run it one more time. And then we'll see when we click on the update label text, we now have multi-line text to the right of the graphic. If you like this video and have found it helpful, please click on the like button and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.